Hello everybody, this is Mr. Jinxie, and this is, well, this is the Mumbo Tokens and Empty Honeycomb Piece Guide of Freeze Easy Peak. Now, the first Mumbo Token, quite easy, just come into Boggy's Igloo, and right here, behind the table. I've started with 15 Mumbo Tokens in this world, there are 10, so I shall finish at 25. I don't believe you need to use a transformation for anything, so, um... Yeah, you should have 25 by the end of it, if you've used every transformation so far. Now, the second Mumbo's token is right over here, behind the Christmas tree. Uh, one thing I should... Okay, maybe it isn't. I was... Oh, no, sorry. It is behind the Christmas tree, just inside the pot. I was getting a bit confused there. One thing I should mention, though, is that I have learnt the move from this world and the move from Gobi's Valley. So I now know every move in the game. It's just so I can um, get certain other Mumbo tokens a bit faster. Like, um, well, I suppose this one doesn't... Oh, yeah, the move from this world needed to smash the snowman. But there's number three of the Mumbo tokens behind the presents there. And the other... well, two more Mumbo tokens... Uh, almost a bit of guesswork. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're in two of the snowmen. There's one there. I shall collect it in a second. And there we go. Um, there's a witch switch there. Yet again, that'll be in its own bonus video. I shall not um, collect, well, press the switch in just yet. I'll wait for this separate bit bonus video for that. And um, snowman... Yeah, this one's got gold feathers in. I don't know why I'm smashing them as I go along, to be honest. I should probably just try and get to the one with the um, uh, Mumbo token in. That's it. An MC Honeycomb piece, which I shall get in a second after I've got the Mumbo tokens. And the second Mumbo token. It's strange. I Ooh, forgot about that. Jiggy appears. Yeah, I haven't collected any Jiggy or the notes in this world. Literally, um, I haven't collected anything but the move. So, there's the number four for this world, number five for this world, right over here on the other foot, number six. And over here, on top of the present, number seven. Now, the next one does require getting hurt, unless you use a transformation, but I'm not going to bother. It is... Where is it? Over here, in the freezing cold water. So you will get hurt by being in the water, but still, only two more. So, the next two are reasonably quite easy to get. And um, I'll probably get that, just anyway. One presence, it's for Jiggy in the world. Not important for this guide, but yeah. Oh, actually, just for ease, I shall get that empty honeycomb piece. That's the first of two MC Honeycomb pieces in this world, like every world. And, um, Mumbo Token, right there. Now, to get the next Mumbo Token, you can either fly down the scar and not get the Jiggy, or use the sled and get the Jiggy. So I might as well use the sled. There's the last Mumbo Token in this world, all ten of them. And, oof, got the Jiggy. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. Go and practice for the big race now. See you, buddy. That's not important, though. I do not know why I didn't skip that text. Normally, I'd skip it. But, yeah, you get a Jiggy just from collecting that Mumbo token and uh, dropping his sled down. So, for the second empty honeycomb piece, and, whoa, nearly got damaged there from falling. Uh, for the second empty honeycomb piece, you do need to be the transformation. Um, earlier, I said you don't... But I think I said that was for Mumbo Tokens. If I said it was for MC Honeycomb Pieces as well, I was wrong. But I remembered where the MC Honeycomb Piece is. So, I shall meet you right around here as the transformation. Okay, I'm now back around here as the transformation, the Walrus. It costs 15 Mumbo Tokens, so now I've been left with 10. And the location of the MC Honeycomb Piece is right over here. Um, the walrus moves slightly faster in the water than on land, so I recommend going through the water just to get there faster. And, um, yeah, next time the honeycomb piece. Oh yeah, jumping I think goes as slightly faster, I'm not really sure, but, yeah. It's in Wazza's cave, right up here, and, yes, you do get jiggy from it, but I'll just, 
I'll go okay, maybe I can't skip it because he's giving the jiggy. Okay, but yeah. Actually, I'll just I'll just collect it. Concerning he doesn't do the animation. There we go. Okay, and if you go in here, there's a back end. Well, back door sort of to the cave. Just go all the way around here and water. And a mini hole, which is too big for Waza to fit through anyway. So I don't know why he even has it in his house. So, go all the way through here. And there's the empty one can piece. I always like this room. It's just a bright, colourful room. So, um, the two empty one can pieces. The 15 mumbo tokens. So, I bid you all farewell. Bye.